Indeed, I invite all who are able to rise for our unison prayer. Please join with me. Risen One, we gather again today celebrating you and thinking of the ways we know you in our lives. We also acknowledge there are times we don't know you, so we seek to be more aware. We hope to see you at times we have missed in the past. You are our Savior. We are grateful, and we offer you our praise. Amen. And let us sing together our opening hymn, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. seated. We come now to this time of prayer. We will begin with silent prayer. Let us pray. Incarnate One, gathered again this day to worship you, we give thanks for all the ways that you are present with us. Yet sometimes we do fail to recognize you. That's why we pray to be more attentive to you, discerning your direction for us and then to be your messengers of good news. 
And while we're at it this day, Lord, we pray for others. We pray for all who are in pain. We pray for the ill and the injured, the hungry, the hurt, and the heartbroken. We pray for people stuck in fear, for the addicted and the grieving. We pray for those taken advantage of this day. And we pray for those that would seek to do harm, that they would turn from their ways. We pray gratefully for the gift of faith and of recovery. We give thanks for strength, resilience, joy, and healing. Lord, we are thankful, especially for the gift of prayer and for times like this when we can all pray together. Now, Lord, we ask that you hear us as we join our voices praying together as we have been taught to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.